Hey, good morning, YouTube. Out here in the garage, uh, thought I'd share with you this morning um, an update I made. Uh, you may remember the video, you may not. If not, you can go back and see it. I made a video. I'm gonna switch the camera around here. Uh, I made a video a while back of this little uh, portable AC/DC power supply or solar generator that I made uh, with some 25 amp hour lithium uh, batteries. Uh, you can go back and see how I built this thing. But since I built that, I, I added a few things to it, and that's what I want to go over this morning. Um, what I did. Um, what I did was, uh, I really didn't change anything as far as its capability. Uh, you have to forgive me here, I am, uh, if you'll see here, I am running it. I'm trying to run the battery down a little bit because I'm going to take you outside in a minute and show you how I'm charging this thing with a 100 watt solar panel. But one of the things I did, two things I did since I uh, did the original video is uh, if you come around here, you'll see down here a uh, little 110 volt uh, input. This plugs in and inside this thing, I'll open it up for you here. Um, open it up this is the workings on the inside I kind of store the cord in here so you have to forgive me for that but uh yeah I just got to I put this power supply in here I still got to put a, a, a Teflon uh, board over top that right now I just got some black tape on it uh, but you can look go back and look at the video on how I built all this I'm not going to cover that here but I did have this power supply this is basically an adjustable 15 volt power supply that I got off of uh, AliExpress I embedded that in there and uh, took and adjusted it down to 14.6 volts, so it provides the exact amount of uh, voltage you need to charge lithium batteries. Now, uh, it is, is not regulated in terms of shutting off. The uh, BMS that's on the batteries controls the charge and will shut it off when it's full. Uh, right now here, I'm running it, uh, running the battery down. I want to get it down to about 80%, and then I'll take you outside and show you how I can charge it with solar. But as I said, the two things I added, uh, one was the uh, 110 volts, which I just covered, let me turn this around here. I'm gonna turn it around this way. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, I have added this uh, solar charger on the side. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see it this way. <laughs> Doesn't help. Anyway, the uh, the camera uh, the camera is gonna point here. This is on the side. I just screwed it in at the top. I got some tape holding at the bottom. Uh, basically, it's a 10 amp uh, pulse width modulated charger, and so I can hook up a solar panel to this. And what I have is a 100 watt solar panel. I have used this thing quite a bit camp, and I, I take it out. I use it with my 100-watt uh, um, HF radio that I use uh, for amateur radio, and uh, I've run it down a few times. I've had to charge it uh, either from my truck. I can plug it into the cigarette lighter in the truck and charge it. That's another way you can charge it. Or I plug it into my inverter in the camper. Now I can plug it directly into a 100-watt 100, 100, uh, cell. Now, I probably could have done that without the uh, regulator here. Uh, but it does keep it pretty pretty close uh, in terms of the output voltage that it needs. Otherwise, it'd be fluctuating around. The BMS would handle all that. So, I recommend if you're going to do it, go ahead and put the uh, the uh, solar controller on there. This, these things they run about $15. They're not that expensive. They're not real sophisticated. I set this one up so it'd run lithium. Uh, it would charge lithium batteries. But in any case, so yeah, this is the uh, solar generator, as you want to call it, and. Um, I'm going to take you outside now and show you how I hook up the charger. But just by way of review, if you want to see how I built this thing, you can go back to my uh, webpage here. I'll leave a link in the comment section, and uh, you can see how I built this little portable charger up. But so far, I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, it's a little bright out here, and you can see my shadow. But I am out on the deck here, uh, out back, obviously for the sake of getting some sun. Anyway, this is a 100-watt uh, panel. I picked this thing up for about 75 bucks, $80 delivered with taxes and all that uh, to my home off of Amazon. Um, it's the HQST panel. And it's, just, it's just a standard 100-watt panel. I mean, they're all about the same price out there. You can get just about any brand to do the same thing. Anyway, I have two of these that I use with my camper. Uh, so when I, I don't, I'm in the shade, I can pull these out into areas where there's sun. But anyway, I also use with this. So here it is. It's just, uh, let me step over here. And if you look around back, I just got the uh, the cord coming off of it. And uh, you can see the uh, cord comes off right there. And uh, anyway, plug it into the uh, power box here. I don't know if you can see the display, but I right now I'm putting in, um, turn around here. Putting in about uh, four amps. Now that says negative 4.26. The way I got the shunt wired up in this thing, three is a positive. 
current when it's actually uh, discharging. But right now at about 80%, uh, the BMS is managing at about four and a half amps going in. I think the panel itself, all is good on it. Uh, it can put out about seven or eight peak anyway. But uh, that's kind of where we're at. So uh, anyway, yeah. So it'll take a few hours at that rate to charge up, but you can put this thing out in the sun with a 100 watt panel and charge it. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Hit subscribe and like, please. Have a good day.